Hey pilots, this is Craig Gamble with Paraglider Service USA. We used to be formerly uh, tandemparagliding.org, but we've changed our name this year to be more, I mean, I used to give tandems uh, a few years back, so that's why that name was in place. But now we predominantly rely on uh, servicing paragliders, trim tuning, inspections. So let's go back in the shop here and show our new setup. So here's our uh, existing rail check system. 12 foot rail with the laser carriage here. Let's turn this puppy on it. Okay, so let's go down the other end. There's the laser target or the beam, laser beam on the laser target. So I'll show my new laser target assembly that I've installed. So here's my over here's my uh, former laser target assembly and here's my new one it has a lot less back pressure than this one as you can see because there's a lot more weight to it than this one obviously but this has linear see those little white pads so they're underneath between the two rails and on the sides as well there's a bunch of them so it runs butter smooth um, but it just has a little more back pressure and so um, I won't burden you with uh, showing all the test results because my I did it on my GoPro, but it just I couldn't get it to upload. So anyhow, I'm just doing a quick uh, clip here. But I got some calibrated weights, certified weights, and it's actually four and a half kilograms. So when I actually pull this, I end up getting exactly five kilograms of force to to get the the carriage moving or to move just to you know load the lines to take a measurement. So just that one little movement, like yay, as you can see it moving, um, it'll go that four and a half kilograms will actually transition to five kilograms of force. And that's what we want to base it on. Five kilograms of force is the load that the lines are going to be taking. As, whereas when I take that same set of uh, certified weights and hang it off this system, it takes 5.75 kilograms of force before this tray moves. And so, uh, that's why I transitioned. Um, obviously, I can drop the weight on, on this to get this to be close to 5 kilograms of force as possible. Um, but I'm actually just going to move this to my other house in Salinas so that I'll have a setup here in Santa Maria and another setup in uh, Salinas. And I'll just have to, you know, obviously have a different stack of weights so that end result is five kilograms of force once it moves and loads the lines for measuring and uh, so I got 12 foot rail here and I have another 12 foot rail here that I'm going to move over to the Salinas house so we can get that place operational so those are the flying sand city Monterey Bay area I'm going to have my trim tuning uh, capabilities in that area, that area as well as here depending where I'm at because I'll go there and fly for a week and I'll come back home here in Santa Maria. So we'll be set up for both both areas uh, within about, I'd say six months, have that up and running. So I just thought to keep you guys abreast of what's transpiring here over at Paraglider Service USA. Take care.